Hello, uh, happy Friday. Welcome to Tips Picks number five. Um, this is a beer that I've had a couple times in the last year and really enjoy. Um, it's a it's a local. Um, oh, let's let's fix that. That's better. Um, so it is a oh, look at that. I made feathers appear. A Silver City, Silver City Brewing Ridge Top Red Ale. Um, it is 6% alcohol. Uh, I've only ever had it in a can. I haven't had it on tap anywhere. Um, it is, it's a red. Uh, let's give it a go. So even though this is sat for like 10 minutes while I've been um, trying to <laughs> rearrange a little bit, it's still, uh, it's still got a little bit of foam and fizz in it. Um, it's, it's really good. This is one of my favorite reds. I think I've said before, I like reds, I like ambers a lot. Um, I did a little bit of reading right before I filmed this just so that I could um, understand what makes a red different than an amber. And reds are traditionally European, ambers are traditionally American. That's according to the craft, was it the craft beer? Let me just take a peek at what they call themselves. Um, it's according to the Craft Beer Club. So I'll just read a little thing because I just read this myself. Historically, red ales, unlike American amber ales, use specially roasted malts that create a unique complexity with the finished beer, give it a sweeter butterscotch or caramelized flavor, and allow it to achieve a reddish color. The use of American hops varieties gives the brew very bold hops characteristics and tend to leave a dry finish. American amber ales, on the other hand, rely on caramelized malts to obtain their color and flavors. So that's the major difference between the two according to this, um, according to this group. So they typically are, they're a medium, according to everything that I was reading, they're supposed to be a medium, a medium beer. Not too hoppy, not too malty, but tend to lean more towards the malts than the hops. They're around four and a half to seven percent alcohol, this being six, it's right in that range. Um, and they're like a, they're an everyman beer. Um, at least that's my interpretation of saying that they're a happy medium. This is, this is like, this is, a, this is a good beer. It's right in that description, fits everything that they say. Um, it's pretty clear, you can kind of see through it. It's got that nice reddish, ambery, ruddy color. Um, and it's it's a really good beer, it's one of my favorites. Um, the article and a couple other articles I was reading earlier go on to say that reds, because of their kind of medium body, um, not overpowering flavors, are really good to pair with food. And last weekend, I had this actually with a smoked uh, Tillamook smoked cheddar that they call Trask. Um, and it's really good, like the two pair amazingly together. So I definitely recommend that. And that's something I'm thinking of starting to do in the rest of the series as we go on is I wanna start like doing a food with beer, uh, particularly cheese pairing. I think it's a really good idea. Um, that's kind of becoming more popular lately is pairing beer with cheese, craft beer, craft cheese. Um, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, we do have a, quite a bit of dairy uh, dairy farms in the area. So it'd be a really cool kind of mix into the two. Um, so yeah, this is definitely on my buy list. Austin and I have kind of decided we're gonna lean away from the stars because they're very arbitrary. Um, we're gonna go with buy, don't buy, um, or whatever he chooses to call it in his. So for me, this is definitely a buy. Um, if you see it, grab it. Um, I've only seen them in six packs of 12 ounce cans, um, but definitely worth it. Uh, definitely, if you see it, go for it. Um, Silver City Brewery, Silver City Brewery, established 1996 out of, I believe, I know they're in this area. <laughs> I don't remember exactly where. Um, so I will, Bremerton, there we go. They're out of Bremerton. Um, so uh, Pacific Northwest Washington State natives as well. Um, so yeah, that's my little review. Um, if you wanna see more, give us a thumbs up. If you don't wanna see any more, tell us in the comments. Um, let us know what we're doing wrong. Let us know what you want us to do better. Uh, we're always improving, always learning, and always trying to give you the best layperson's interpretation for your consumption. Um, 